My name is Theo Rhein. I'm working at the Max Planck Institute of Psychiatry in Munich as a project group leader since almost 20 years now. The research of uh, the group I'm uh, heading is um, devoted to understand intracellular signaling of stress-related molecules which contribute eventually to the development and precipitation of psychiatric diseases. And these intracellular pathways often end up on the chromatin and elicit uh, responses such as transcription responses. Transcription can be measured in many ways and one way to measure a transcription response of a pathway is reporter gene assays. And this is what we use this machine mainly for. We use reporter gene assays, as I said, and we do a dual luciferase assay. So we have one reporter luciferase and one reference luciferase. So we use the instrument with the dual injection mode and measure the two luciferases which we set up to be responsive to the pathways of interest. What we value most is uh, the broad uh, linear range of uh, sensitivity. So the response, at least in our hands, uh, is linear up to six decades. And this is quite valuable for our research. The injection mode, I think uh, um, other, ins uh, other instruments also have, uh, the linear range uh, is uh, almost mandatory for our research to have reliable um, results. The uh, features are sensitivity on the one hand, but most of all the broad linear range of the response. In our hands, we tested this linear range uh, to be up to six decades, and this is almost mandatory for the type of experiments uh, we need. I guess a good example is the regulation of the glucocorticoid receptor. This is a receptor uh, that responds to the stress hormone cortisol and is central to uh, the stress response in humans and also in animals. And uh, since we are talking about uh, psychiatric diseases that are stress-related, understanding the molecular mode of this receptor is central to understand stress-related diseases. In particular, we uh, looked at a set of uh, cofactors of this uh, glucocorticoid receptor and analyzed um, the receptor activity by the dual reporter gene assays on this instrument. And probably the most well-known molecule by now that regulates this receptor is called FKBP51 that has found its way into psychiatric research, I would say, all over the world. We will continue to try to understand the molecular signalings at as many levels of complexity as possible, and that will still include uh, understanding the molecular response of signaling pathways. So we will continue to use the dual luciferase assay. We probably will also include fluorescence readout maybe polarization assays to, uh, when it comes to protein-drug interactions, uh, which is hopefully a future focus of our research.